The Orville United Methodist Church occupied this building and this site since 1900. And in 2012, that church, which had grown smaller and smaller, made a decision to discontinue the congregation. When that happened, the property became owned by the United Methodist Church in South Carolina. The district superintendent at the time here in the Anderson District, Susan Leonard, she had a thought or a dream about starting a ministry out of this facility that would connect with the community here on South Main as the community is today. With the closing of the mill and the changing of the neighborhood, I think there'd become sort of a disconnect between the church and the community. And I was working at the United Way at the time. In a very unique arrangement, I don't know that anywhere across the country this was done, the United Methodist Church, in cooperation with the United Way, worked on developing this project. We learned in February of 2014 that the United Methodist Church in South Carolina would devote new church start funds to the project, which really was a boost. We had several individuals make financial contributions that gave us kind of a, a grounding to get started. And we launched in uh, June of 2014. At the time, I was a senior at Southern Western University where I majored in human services. When I was offered the job here, I felt like this was my family. I was already a part of this community and that this is where God had placed me. We are not a hand out, we're a hand up. So we want to help these people get to a better living situation. I never dreamed in the early part of my ministry that this would be the direction my ministry would take. And now I understand why, because all those other experiences I had working for the Department of Mental Health, working for Partners for a Healthy Community in the United Way, prepared me for this sort of ministry. I think we've learned a lot over those nine years in terms of the needs that people have and how can we best meet those needs. We've tried to be an organization that's very pliable so that we can meet people where they're at and address their needs in the moment. I'm on the phone at least once daily with another worker from another nonprofit, whether it be Hope Mission of the Upstate, the Free Clinic, Salvation Army. We're all working with the same person. I may be working towards getting somebody food stamps, whereas they're working towards getting them Medicaid or getting them the health care they need. And then somebody else may be helping them find somewhere to lay their head that night. We're kind of like a neighborhood hub. We have connected with people who not only are homeless and hang out in this part of town or maybe walk from another part of town and come to be with us, but we have several folks who are regulars here. They come not only on Sundays, but they come throughout the week. They live right here in the neighborhood. It's become their church home. The thing that we'd hoped would happen and has happened from the very beginning is that this would become a a place where people from different walks of life could share the same family of faith. And that's just rare. Churches tend to just naturally form around people who share the same demographics. That's what we purposely have said we didn't want to do. We wanted to be different and to bring people together. And that has worked and continues to work. Our support from the United Methodist Church was intentionally designed to be something that would slowly decrease as we became more self-sustaining. And we were on a 10-year schedule, and so we're entering soon the last year of that. And so we'll be even looking more to our community to help fill that gap. We're so grateful, and people will give, and I'll think, my gosh, how did they even hear about us? We haven't done a lot of aggressive fundraising, I would say, and yet uh, God has continued to be good to us. And we've had support from multiple other churches as well, both financial support and people support. I've lived in Anderson since 1993 and then worked in the nonprofit world and in departmental health. And so I had already met a lot of people and made a lot of connections, which really facilitated the partnerships that we have here in, in this place. 
and I've tried to continue to remain involved in the community outside of just my work here. We work well with one another, and that's the good thing about this community, I think. There's good cooperation between organizations.